Hey y'all, it's Carrie, the Invisible Goddess. In this video, I will show you how to make a crochet chain. You will need the following materials. Yarn. Scissors. The crochet hook of your choice, which is the appropriate size for the yarn that you have chosen. I am using number four worsted weight. Uh, this is vintage Wintook yarn, along with an I boy hook. That is personal preference on which type of hook you would like to use. Chains can be used as the foundation of many crochet patterns. They are quite easy to make. We will begin with a slip knot. There are many ways to make a slip knot. I will show you how I make mine. To begin my chain, I make a slip knot by wrapping the yarn around my finger in an X, taking this edge of the yarn and slightly pulling it over that tail end. I put this little loop over my hook. This is what we look like right now. I grab both ends, remove my finger, and tighten the slip knot up on my hook. To make the chain, you wrap the yarn around the hook. I sort of hold it down there, and you pull through your loop. You have just made one chain. So you take the yarn, you wrap it around your hook, hold your chain, and you pull the loop through the loop on your hook. Wrap, hold, and pull through. Wrap, hold, and pull through. Wrap, hold, and pull through. We'll do a couple more. And if you're having trouble following along, YouTube does have an option to slow down the video. So again, very slowly, wrap the working yarn over your hook, hold, and pull through. This is what our chain looks like. So again, I'll do a couple more <laughs> and we'll turn this into a nice little bracelet project. You can see that as I got uh, quicker with my stitches, they somewhat got smaller and that's due to the tension that I'm holding. I apparently, when I crochet slower, I do so looser.
when you are ready to end your chain, I do suggest that, that you practice your chains. Take your scissors and leave yourself a decent tail. Cut your yarn. You see my hook fell out of my work. Go ahead and just put it back in. Do a final chain. So wrap around, hold, and pull through the loop on your hook. But instead of making another chain, just pull until the yarn comes out. Hold your chain and then pull your working yarn to tighten down. So here's the chain that we made. I may have wanted to leave a longer tail on this end. I left a decent tail on this end. So now I've created a cute little bracelet for myself. With an extra set of hands, I'd be able to tie this on and have a cute little bracelet for myself. Congratulations on your first crochet project. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> be sure to come back for the next crochet tutorial where I teach you how to make a single crochet. If you like this tutorial, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Thanks, y'all, and peace out, homies. <laughs>